Hello, and welcome to our virtual concert. To say the last 12 weeks have been challenging is an understatement. For me, the thing I miss most was rehearsing. I love the process of digging out the layers of a composition and bringing it to an audience. As you know, we went to e-learning a week before our winter concert, and the music we had prepared was really great, and the students and I were very excited to bring the selections to you. During e-learning, we had to switch our focus from music performance to music education. We took advantage of the time and explored other areas of music that we wouldn't normally have time to study, but we quickly found that we really missed singing. So we started learning some new technologies that would allow us to make music together, even though we were apart. The songs you will hear next are the product of that learning. I am extremely grateful to Claire Ann Santos, who led the way in taking individual submissions and creating videos that look and sound great. I would like to thank Claire Gardner, who helped in creating videos as well as creating accompaniment and practice tracks for the choirs. Thank you to Victoria Knott for also creating accompaniment and practice tracks. And a special thank you to Mr. Russ, who recorded accompaniments for the freshmen and sophomores. Finally, a big thank you to Claire Condon in the development office, who has helped me through the past weeks on many projects, but who also compiled this final product. The music we have chosen to perform for you in this program are all uplifting and positive texts. I was so inspired by my students in the way that they approached the challenges of e-learning and how they were able to find silver linings in each thing that came along. They made the best of a bad situation, and these songs reflect that positive energy. The Freshman Choir performs the song, We Are the Music Makers, by Andy Beck. It is a setting of the famous poem by Arthur O'Shaughnessy about the power of music and the importance of creating art. sophomore chorus sing a song called Ad Astra by Jacob Narvarud. Ad Astra per Aspera, to the stars through hardship, is the state motto of the state of Kansas, and this work was commissioned for their state choir to premiere this year. The text alternates between Latin and English and could not be more fitting to the situations we face this spring. It tells us to lift our hearts, look upwards, move forwards, and know that we are not alone.
The Madrigal Singers chose Sing Me to Heaven by Daniel Gothrop. It is a beautiful setting of a poem by Jane Greiner and sings of the power of music to move and help us as we grow through all stages of life.
the concert chorale will perform The Music of Living by Dan Forrest. In the piece, we ask the giver of life to help us to live as we are meant to through the music of living. The song was the last thing that we sang before we left rehearsal on March 13th. I will always remember the power of that moment as we all knew in the back of our minds that it was the last time that we would sing together for a while. The words, for you are leading the dance, really resonated with me and the choir students. Knowing that we are not in control and sometimes life brings things that we do not want, but that we have to trust and find good in them. I know the choir loves this song and I hope you can feel the love in their performance. for the winter concert. During e-learning, we refreshed them and recorded them. But there was one song that the Madrigals learned entirely during e-learning, Happy Together by the 60s group, The Turtles. This song, arranged by Audrey Snyder, gives us a little taste of a typical spring concert song, and we chose this one because we like the sentiment that we are doing okay being separated, but we are definitely happier together. <laughs> Together, 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 together
At this time, I'd like to recognize a few of our seniors. The talent pool in the music department is so very deep, and especially in the choral area, and especially this year. There are so many gifted vocalists that it is really difficult to narrow down the choices for these awards. I would like to start by recognizing the mass choir directors. They planned, taught, rehearsed, and directed the music liturgy for every mass and liturgical celebration that happened on and off campus for the whole year. It is a tremendous amount of work and they have done a great job with all the liturgies. Please help me thank Emily Combs, Sam Gukwa, Charlotte Keeley, Becky Byers, and Nate Yep. Each year, we recognize some outstanding choral students who are extremely talented, but beyond that, are extremely dedicated to their craft and go above and beyond in their participation. Any number of students could be chosen from this group, but I have chosen two who are great examples to represent the class. The first student I would like to recognize, besides being in choir all four years, has been active in mass choir, earned a place in the Madrigal Singers, both junior and senior year. He was involved with the musical all four years, was selected to the ILMEA District Choir all four years, and advanced to state this year as the number one bass. He is a leader in the choirs, and in spite of his ability to flip a water bottle into the highest and most obscure places of St. Daniel Hall, he is a great example and a wonderful student. Help me congratulate Vito Stiniscus. The next student was also in choir all four years, very active in the mass choir. She earned a place in the Madrigal Singers, both junior and senior years. She was selected to the ILMEA District Choir, freshman, junior, and senior years. She earned a role in the musical all four years, and this year landed a role as a lead character. And even though her performances were cut short, her performance has gone viral and received accolades from many Broadway stars, including the actress who originated the role. She is an anchor in her section and an extremely dependable and professional musician who is a great example of keeping focus on the ensemble. Many years ago at a Madrigal event, a curious seven-year-old came up to the singers and wanted to join in. She stood in with the group and sang Christmas carols with energy and brought joy to everyone around. Well, for the past few years, that same child has continued to bring joy with her performing at Bennett. She always brings positive energy, hard work, and dedication, and we hope she will continue to share her joy in college and beyond. Please help me congratulate Claire Ann Santos. The highest award we give in the music department is the Outstanding Music Student Award. It is presented to the senior who demonstrates outstanding talent and leadership in instrumental and or vocal performance and studies. This year's recipient is a student who is a great example of what this award represents. She is outstanding in all that she does. This year's recipient has been in band for four years, choir for four years, madrigals for two years, earned a place in the cast of the musical for four years, been involved in orchestras and the Bennett Theater Association, and has taken as many art classes as she can fit into her schedule. She has been more than just a member of these groups. She has risen as a leader in all the activities she does. This year's recipient of the Outstanding Music Student Award is Carmel Beatrice Ada. It is with tremendous joy that we honor Carmel. She has shared her talents through being a dependable musician in the marching band and wind ensemble, where she leads her section with pride She's an anchor in the alto section of the concert chorale and madrigals. She acts and dances with dedication and depth, and she brings beauty and a fresh perspective to her art classes. She is the epitome of what the fine arts has to offer at Bennett Academy. Her participation and leadership are just two parts of why Carmel is our choice this year. The third part is her humanity. She is kind and caring. She leads by example as a servant leader, her wit and biting humor are wickedly joyful and her enthusiasm for the arts is unmatched. Through her participation in all of the fine arts, 
Carmel sings and dances, plays and paints, and creates a more beautiful world. Next year, she will be attending the American Academy of Art to study graphic design and continue sharing her passion for the arts. Please help me congratulate Carmel once again for her amazing work and contributions these past four years. We will close this virtual concert the way we end each spring concert with the Irish Blessing by Bob Chilcott. It is dedicated to our seniors and sung by all four choirs. Most of our students just had to refresh the parts because we sing it each year, but I also want to commend the freshmen who learned it all during e-learning. Then the final song will be the Alma Mater. It is the first song that the Madrigals recorded during e-learning, and we did it to test a new app. The version that you will hear is one that was used several times during uh, events over the past several weeks, including the Honors Convocation and Baccalaureate. I hope you enjoy hearing their performances, and although it isn't the concert we wanted to perform for you, I'm very proud of the hard work, talent, and dedication of our choir students. Enjoy. Yeah. 